Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sukhir Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. They reviewed domestic and international issues regarding the kingdom's development and citizens' well-being. His Majesty the King asserted that the unity of Bahraini citizens demonstrates in their strive for solidarity among themselves makes up the foundation of the kingdom's development alongside the spirit of coexistence and their desire to build up their country in line with Bahrain's heritage. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the kingdom's residents saying that they respected and appreciated for their active role in the country's progress and constitute an important part of society. His Majesty expressed his deep appreciation for the efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in their continuous task of elevating the government's performance and service. His Majesty extended his thanks to the government's cabinet members. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi. His Majesty condemned the two terrorist bombings that targeted uh, the Mar Girgis Coptic Church in Tanta and the Church of St. Mark in Alexandria, resulting in tens of casualties and injuries, and expressed deep condolences to the families of the victims. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sukhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, who handed His Majesty a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, inviting His Majesty to attend the King Abdul Aziz Camel Festival. His Majesty expressed thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the invitation, hailing the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, and praised the continued development of bilateral cooperation and coordination at all levels. He expressed appreciation and pride in the honorable sense of, of King Salman bin Abdulaziz towards the kingdom and its people, his efforts to consolidate and strengthen Bahraini Saudi relations, his leading role in promoting and developing Gulf action and his efforts in, in supporting Arab and Islamic nations causes. His Majesty affirmed Saudi Arabia's uh, fundamental role in maintaining the region's security and stability to defend Arab interests and maintain unity and cohesion under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. The President of Palestine, Mahmoud Abbas, will arrive tomorrow in Bahrain to meet with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The meeting will include discussions regarding the deep-rooted bilateral relations in addition to the latest development at regional and international levels, including the Palestinian cause. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 6 of 2017, relocating ambassadors to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs General Court. The edict stipulated the relocation of the following ambassadors to the General Court of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission in Japan, Ambassador Dr. Khalil Ibrahim Hassan. Head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission in India, Ambassador Tariq Mbarak bin Dayna. Head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission in Thailand, Ambassador Adil Yusuf Satter. Head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission in the USA, Ambassador Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. And head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission in Germany, Ambassador Ibrahim Mahmoud Ahmed Abdullah. The Minister of Foreign Affairs will implement the edict which becomes effective from June 1, 2017, as it is published in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today a number of senior officials and expressed pride in the cohesive uh, social fabric of Bahrain, saying the kingdom is a role model on the regional and international levels. He added that the progress and prosperity of the kingdoms are a result of the efforts and commitment of its people. His Royal Highness then discussed topics covered by the Bahraini press and writers in regard to national, regional and international development. He affirmed that the Bahraini press operates on the principle of national responsibility in dealing with issues concerning the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness also discussed recent regional and international events and stressed the need to or the need for more advanced initiatives that enhance Arab cooperation in order to overcome all challenges and threats facing the region.
Deputy Prime Minister and Deputy Chairman of the Civil Service Council, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, launched a system to measure and follow up the performance of ministries and governmental authorities affiliated with the civil services, according to the best uh, global practices and internationally adopted methods. Bahrain is considered one of the first countries in the region to implement this system. Sheikh Khalid patronized the launch of the Enterprise Performance Management Project named Tikamul. He said in a speech that the project will help develop the role of the governments and its services to become among the top 20 countries in the world. The deputy premier highlighted that the project was guided by Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, which is based on redefining the role of the government to become an effective provider of services and implementer of projects that support the economy as well as focus on investing in national caters. He affirmed that this project is a reflection of the directives of, his, of the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He hailed the support to the civil services sector and the development of human capital of Bahrain. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs condemns the terrorist attacks that targeted uh, Mar Girgis Coptic uh, Church, St. George in Tanta, and uh, St. Mar Church in Alexandria in the Arab Republic of Egypt, which resulted in tens of casualties and injuries. The ministry reiterated the kingdom's solidarity with Egypt in the face of terrorism in all its forms and confirms its support for all the measures undertaken by Egypt to maintain its security and stability. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expresses condolences to the government and people of the Arab Republic of Egypt, wishing a speedy recovery for all those injured. The ministry affirms that the crimin criminal acts will not divide the unity of Egyptian society that has always maintained a strong, unified social fabric that is capable of combating and eradicating terrorism. The ministry renewed Bahrain's uh, rejection of violence, extremism and terrorism and called on the international community to strengthen cooperation efforts to eradicate this phenomenon and its underlying causes as well as prevent all means of funding. The civil defense officers were able today to extinguish a fire that erupted in industrial Sitra yesterday afternoon at a warehouse that contains a large number of chemicals used in manufacturing plastic and aluminum and nylon sheets. A cooling process was started to prevent the re reoccurrence of the fire. The civil defense officers uh, were also able to prevent the fire from spreading to neighboring facilities. The ninth scientific medical motor sports uh, or sports workshop was held today at the Crown Plaza. The event in preparation for the Formula One was organized by the Health Ministry and Bahrain Motor Federation and patronized by the Health Minister Faiqal Saleh. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Since safety and security are among the most important fundamentals of motorsport, and the Formula One, one of the biggest sport events, is coming up. Bahrain keeps up its efforts to implement the highest standards of precautions and risk management. 13 theoretical and practical lectures in which highly skilled doctors and professional specialists discuss all steps and procedures of motorsport first aid, medical support and rescue, as well as dealing with various types of injuries in the presence of all concerned medical, nursing and technical staff. We do have around, um, around 45 doctors, 55 paramedics, around 50 nurses, Remaining, uh, we've got some medical technicians as well, support team. Uh, we've got some doctors coming, volunteers as well, from outside Bahrain. Each couple of years, there will be new guidelines for managing trauma patients, and all these are based on uh, statistics and research. So we make sure that we get the latest uh, guidelines for uh, trauma management, head injuries, thoracic injuries, abdominal injuries, uh, limb injuries. Incredible efforts are shown by the fully aware and equipped team to ensure the safety of not only drivers, but also marshals and participants. We take care of the people who are racing on the track, who are the, the drivers, and we take care of all the marshals who are coming uh, to, for the event. The marshals, marshals only, they, they are about 1,150. So we take care of all of them, and we take care of all the people, the spectators who come to visit the place. Uh, to see the race. Uh, numbers go up to 50, 60,000. 
not only on track. Monitoring and inspecting food and beverages in the circuit is also discussed to maintain the highest levels of public health. Moreover, doctors from different countries and very old medical teams are here to share their expertise and exchange experience. One of my presentations is on airway management of injured people and the other is involved with uh, how we take drivers safely out of a, a race vehicle after a crash. Uh, we have a special board that we've developed called the Med Board and uh, Bahrain was one of the first people to buy these. The first execution of my job is uh, uh, 1989, okay? It's the first execution in the world. It's undeniable that the internationally competent medical team is a key partner in the constant success of the Formula One event. Everyone is delighted with the Formula One coming up this weekend, but when it comes to safety arrangements, Bahrain does not take it lightly. Medical excellence is ensured by medical experts maintaining the highest level of risk management and safety precautions discussed today in the Motorsport Medicine Seminar held specially in preparation for the Formula One. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul